what's up you guys welcome back to my channel it's been a minute and i'm just i'm just not even gonna get into all that you know you know i'm really trying my schedule if you guys know me and you know my life you would understand why it is just real hard for me to film like to be able to sit down and film and then edit it's a lot like i work a full nine to six monday through friday job where we are in office if i was working from home it might be a little different you know what i'm saying um and then i'm actively involved in ministry at my church so i'm always going there and yeah filming it just it don't be working out sometimes but that's okay um it's mlk day which i know i won't be posting this on mlk day so happy mlk day um i this is one of my favorite holidays but i absolutely adore mlk and what he stands for and love and he was a very good christian man he was like jesus he wanted everyone to love like jesus loved so i love this day and i'm super grateful to be off work today and so i'm using this day to catch up on filming content for a few brands um so yeah i am very excited to be filming and you know like i was saying i'm just very busy so it's hard for me to sit down and film and then editing on top of that but editing vlogs is a lot editing in general is a lot so that is why it has been hard for me to film and be consistent but i am believing i have my um vision board hanging up over here and i'm believing that 2021 is the year for me to be self-employed however god sees fit you know if that's through you know multiple streams of income so that's youtube um instagram brands um my own personal brand i am in jesus name going to be working on this year and so yeah i'm just believing it because there's so many things that i want to do but with my full-time job like it's i don't want to say it's impossible because anything is possible with the lord but it's just really hard okay anyways i've talked for three minutes now we're going to get into this video as you can see by the title i'm going to be showing you how i instagram and this is a very requested video people dm me all the time just asking me how i do certain things so i'm gonna put you guys on because if there's one thing you should know about me is i don't keep anything to myself because the good lord don't keep anything to himself jesus didn't keep anything to himself so if there's one thing you should know about me i'm gonna put you on to whatever i use whatever i'm wearing like i'm just that type of person you know there's room for everyone at this table there's room for everyone in the kingdom okay if you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying so yes we are going to break this up into several different categories it's gonna be a lot of me talking i'm also going to put like little screen captures so that i can show you guys what i'm talking about okay so the first thing that we are going to dive into is instagram and obviously there are several categories within instagram so first we're going to start with stories and i'm sorry i'm really focusing on not looking at the viewfinder but it's really hard okay so yes we're going to talk about stories first so things kind of switch up with my stories which i guess they just recently switched up so i'm going to show you what i used to use which i still use a lot for different things and then I'm going to show you what I do now. So the app that I always use for my story for like, honestly, over a year, I think. It's called Prequill. I don't know if you can see it when I do this. That middle one. So I'll also put like a little screenshot, screen recording, whatever. And so Prequill, let me just start screen recording now. Okay. So with Prequill, I believe, did I pay for this? I don't know. I think I did. I don't know. I can't remember. No, I don't think I did. So there's so many really, really, really awesome features on this app. And when you first open it, actually, I'm just going to put the screen recording here. So when you first open it, it gives you like all these templates. And so if you click the template, you can try it. And this is a new feature because they didn't have this when I first started using it. They didn't have this back in the day, you know what I'm saying? So um, the one I used to always use is, um, I guess I could click a video. They kind of changed it up a little bit um so i usually just pick a video i would literally it's so extra i would literally record the story in my story and then go on instagram save it go to this app and then edit it just for a freaking story 
like I told you guys I was psycho like a few months ago when actually this was a while ago this was back during like quarantine because I was in Ohio when people were requesting this video I'm like I'm really extra so just just be prepared um so yes I pick a video and then I would hit effects and there's so many different ones I mean I've edited reels on this which I can show um I've edited my stories on here which I can show there's so many freaking cool ones um but my favorite ones that I would always use is this VHS one where you can like change up the different and there's different um little like subcategories if you will um oh, yeah love this I used to use this bad boy all the time which I kind of miss it now dang I should have used it on my story so you can also purchase the app and get more little subcategories or more filters if you will um and so the other one that I used forever was Lomo and when you guys see it you're gonna be like oh yeah girl we'd be, we'd be remembering that and I would use this for videos I would use this for pictures I would use it for everything um love this one and the nice thing is too when you ooh, what did I do when you click on it you can edit the like the light you can edit the color like turn it up turn it down the dust you can remove that the filter you can turn it down a little bit you can take the date on and off like whatever the feature is you can always edit it to your liking and then you can also save it as like a preset which was no they didn't have this you know when i first started doing it so you can save that preset which made it really easy for each of my stories i could just go in add it whatever and i would do it for pictures and videos um there's also another one i really like it's called ransom notes like so much fun i'll just show it on here but it's like a little magazine cut out i've used this for a few of my covers because like i said you can use it on photos or videos and it's just a really cool app like there's so many different things um i would use this literally um for pictures videos i would use it for like parts of my youtube videos like i'm really extra okay but i love it i love this app um and then yeah that's like the main app that i would use for my stories i really wouldn't get into the filters on instagram too much i was always using this and so yeah once i edited it to my liking i would upload it to my instagram story so extra okay so extra oh, i want another chopped cheese so bad just seeing my story makes me want another one so another thing that I get a lot of questions on, so that's an app that I really love, I really recommend. So like I said, we're going to start with Instagram, I'm going to move to YouTube, but then there's also apps that I use for both, so this be hard. Let's just stick with Instagram. Okay, so the other thing I'm going to show you is a lot of people ask me about my Instagram stories, how I be doing them. So I'm going to put a screen recording here of how I would do an Instagram story of something I do a lot. So for example, we're gonna add a story here. So for example, all right, I just chose a photo. And something I do often is I will like copy, and I'll put a picture in my story or multiple pictures to layer. So for example, what you would do, it's so easy when I tell people this, they're like, that's it. You go to, um let me just pick a photo okay so for example if i wanted to use this photo you click it you hit copy photo and then you go to your story and it literally says instagram pasted from photos and then you click paste there's the photo and you can like size it move it around do whatever but be careful because if you tap it it'll like reflect and yeah it can be a little touchy but you'll get used to it so then i'll add like um some sort of text coffee run and then you know move it where i want it okay and then i will often do this where i do like the same story and then just add multiple photos 
So what I'll do is hit save before I post it, then I'll post it. I'm not actually gonna post this to my story. So say I posted it and then I wanted to add another photo. So we click this story and then we go back to our photos. Um, this is perfect from this day. Hit copy photo and then you go back and you hit paste and then you can kind of layer it. And then I would put my text in my Bruce Glenn collection mask. You can size it, change the color. Let's change the color. Okay. Then I would act, I would post that. If I wanted, I, you can just keep going, you know? There it is. I do this for like people's birthdays or if there's something particular I wanna post. Um, that's what I do. Copy photo again, go back in, paste. He's healthy or whatever, whatever. Yeah, make it smaller and then you post. Like it's that easy. It's real easy, but people like don't know you can do that. So that's pretty much what I do for my Instagram stories. I use that app and um, I like to layer like that. So something that I've been recently doing um, because I just like the vibes is turning the exposure down on my photos so that it looks like dark and I'm just like into that vibe right now I don't know I'm just into it um so it's super easy and it's actually so much easier than what I was doing with that app um so I'm like not mad about it but this is the first time I've like changed up like I've been using that app for so long the little Lomo freaking filter I've been using for so long so what I'll do, um, I'll show you guys. I'll put another screen recording up. So here is the original photo. It is this coffee photo. And as you can see, it was morning. So it was very, mm, it was pretty bright outside. Or I think it was gloomy, but still, it was bright. Um, I go to edit. And then I just go to the next one and hit exposure. And I just start turning it down. And you see it gives it this like dark, like just cool vibe and then brilliance i'll turn that down too and you'll see everything around it starting to get darker sometimes i'll mess with the highlights and the brilliance isn't always there like if it's not light enough in the photo you don't have the brilliance option um but then it's fine i just mess with the exposure and i just mess with the highlights and that's it like that is how i've been editing those stories and posting them and i even do it to for example like let me find something for example, like something white like this, I would go to edit and hit exposure and just turn it down. Like I just love the way that looks. And I have, you know, it just looks cool. I don't know, I'm just into that right now. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how I've been editing my stories recently. And I've also been doing that with my photos. Like, so my feed now is a little bit more darker, um, which I'm kind of into. Okay, so, and then with my photos, um, the apps that I use are Facetune, which I don't like to admit it, but I do, we all do it, in Jesus' name one day, I'm not gonna have to use Facetune, but you know what, it is what it is, and I'm just being real with y'all, I know I'm cute the way God made me, but you know, sometimes there's a photo and you really like it, and you're like, dang, I know that, like, my face don't look like that in person, like, this blemish looks crazy or my skin looks off or my double chin looks crazy i know i don't always look like that but i like this photo i like how i'm looking but there's a few things i would just want to fix you know it's it's fine we all do it i'm guilty of it and one day in Jesus' name like i said i won't be doing that and then i also will use an app called pixar which i use this for a lot of things i use this for flyers i use this for photos i use this for yeah, I make a lot of things on here. Um, so for example, it's kind of like how Instagram, how you copy and paste. Like it, there's so many features on this, which I really love. Um, I'm going to start a screen recording now. So for example, if I chose this photo, and as you can see, I already turned down the exposure and stuff, which you can also do that in this app, but it's just one less step when you do it from the camera app. So, um, 
you know, there's a lot of different features on here. There's effects. I don't usually use that. Um, the tools, this is where I would go to adjust and I would mess with like the exposure and stuff, but I already did that. Um, there's a retouch. So I'll use this to like get my blemishes. Um, sometimes I'll use it if my roots aren't touched up. I'll edit my roots in that with the hair color feature. Um, and then what I use this a lot for is like flyers or things for my Instagram. So um, you can like add a photo. Um, so we'll just add this one, it's from that day. So kind of the same thing as like the Instagram feature. I love this little feature. You can add like a sticker. There's so many. I mean, I search like tape so you can like add these. So you have to pay for the app to get some of them, but um, I mean, there's a lot of good free ones. So I make a lot of flyers on here. As you can see, I'm just adding random stuff, but I mean, you can be specific. Like if you want a white bot, a white, white aesthetic, you can search white aesthetic and like all these different things will come up. Um, yeah, it's just a really cool app. Oops, no. I use this to make a lot of flyers for ministry and church. Um, and then, yeah, I use, that's pretty much, oh, there's a text option, which I don't like a, um, some of the fonts that it comes with. So usually I'll just go into my Instagram app and type in the font after, or type in the text afterwards. But there is some decent ones, like I'll use this one, Bunya. This one's I. Um, but yeah, there's some cool fonts. You can literally do so much with this app. Let's just type my name. See? Super cute, super easy. And yeah, I'll use this to edit Red Eye. Um, but yeah, I mainly use this app for flyer purposes. So I will list all of these apps below just because I know you might be like, what are you talking about, girl? I might not even show it in the screen recording. Um, and then, so yeah, so that you can access all of them. Okay, and then for photos, like I said, I was telling you a little bit of the apps that I use to edit, but, um, you know, I used to be super into Visco. I don't really use Visco a lot anymore. I'm kind of into, like, no filters. I'll just, like, tweak a few things and then mess with the exposure, but I don't full-on, like, add filters really anymore. Um, but I would use Visco. Lightroom, I also use to edit... Um, like the lighting because it's nice because you can save it as a preset and then just use that um, If I have a lot of photos to edit, I'll do that and then as far as taking photos People really think they really think I'm really good at taking photos and For anyone who's actually taken my pictures aka Andrew who is a photographer He knows like I'm not like good at taking photos like I'm not in Jesus name I am a model, but I'm no model. I don't really know how to pose myself I don't know how to do my face like what I tell people when they're taking my photos is just take a million pictures like take so many because then I can find one that I like like don't focus on when I get a pose taking the picture because nine times out of ten I'm not even gonna like that photo of me like actually posing I'm gonna like me like in the midst of posing like a candid um so yeah people really think I'm good at taking photos but I'm really not like I have to take a million to like like three of them there are a few moments where I have taken photos and I've gotten like a few shots and been like, we nailed it, but that ain't me. And if you've taken my pictures, you be knowing. One of these days I'm gonna get it um, by practice, apparently, you know, obviously, not apparently, obviously. So yes, I don't really do anything crazy. Most of the time I just look for um, like a good background, decent lighting, but you know, for me, I'm like, oh, I can always edit it. The lighting and stuff like that um but yeah most of the time it's the candid photos that i like it's not even like the ones of me posing um and yeah i have to take a million so i don't have a lot of tips on that other than yeah there's i just do it i just do it and i take a million um okay and so the next app that i'm going to be talking about that i use to edit all my youtube videos um because like i was saying at the beginning of this video i do not have time to sit down and edit like if i had to edit on my computer i would never have a youtube video up and in jesus name he's going to give me time this year because i'm not going to be working a nine day six monday through friday job in jesus mighty name you heard it here first folks but um i like i said at the beginning of this video i am full-time in ministry like that's my number one 
um, all of this stuff comes after so that explains why I don't I'm not as consistent as I would love to be because ministry comes first the people I minister to comes first getting poured into through my leaders comes first because what I'm being poured into is what I like my cup gets filled up and then it overflows into others if I'm not getting poured into which I have my personal time with Jesus too that I get poured into but if I'm not getting poured into then it's hard for me to pour into others so that is why I'm very heavily involved in ministry and I just love it it's like a big family where friends family it's the best ever so if you're in New York and you want to come to church with me you should DM me or comment on this video or whatever so that is why I was saying the only time I have to edit is on my phone on the train or if I have like downtime at work or downtime somewhere so that is why I have to edit on my phone like I'm not bringing my laptop with me every day it's just it's just not something I'm gonna do you know what I'm saying so I found this app that I really love it's super easy to use there's so many cool features I did pay for it um, but it wasn't that much and I, I don't know if I pay monthly I can't remember um, but I want to say it was like seven dollars or something like that don't quote me but it's so worth it and I do my Instagram stories on this as well as my YouTube videos on this um, so let me start a screen recording. So what we'll do is I'll start a video. And so as you can see, I'm, I'm actually about to edit a video of what I filmed today, a reel. So I'll edit my reels on here. I'll do Instagram stories on here. Like if I want to make a quick video of something, I do that. I do everything on this app. I love it. I love it. I even use it to make a video, but then screenshot a picture from it. Like I love it. Um, okay. So let's just go ahead. And we'll just load all of these on here because I need to do this video anyways. Okay, so as you can see now, you can pick the ratio. So there is a YouTube option, there's an Instagram option. Those are pretty much the only, story option, I should say. Those are pretty much the only two I use. There is a square option and there is like a regular Instagram post option. And then the other ones I haven't gotten into, which actually now that I'm looking at it, they're cool because you can make like banners. I don't know where you can have a live banner at, maybe Facebook or something, but I don't know, that's cool. Okay, so as you can see, I loaded all the videos and there are so many cool features. I mean, if you've used like Adobe um, Premiere, Premiere Pro, Premiere? Yeah, I think, Lord. Or if you've used Final Cut Pro, like it's kind of like the same thing, but on your phone which people I know are probably like, girl, that's so extra. But it's really easy for me. Like, editing on a computer is hard for me. Like, I, the clicks and it's just too much. On my phone, I'm like, Doo -doo. So, you know, you have your options where you click the video and you can mute, you can speed it up, you can turn the volume up, turn the volume down. There's Those are pretty much the only fe the features that I really use in this part, but that's just selecting the video. Um, you can add background music, sound effects. They have really good sound effects um, where like iMovie, I would have to like go to YouTube, get the sound effect, turn it into an MP3. Like it was just so much that I was like, this is so worth it. You can do voiceovers on here. Um, and it's cool because it's so user friendly. Like if you stop at a place and you add a sound, okay, you pick the sound you want. Um, oh, I should do a sound effect. Hold on. Okay, say so say you add a sound effect and there's they have it categorized really nice. So life sounds. Um, I'll use like a camera shutter. I use that a lot. Okay, pick that. And then it's it it stops you right where that is. And say you want to add text in that very same spot, you click the text, little button, hit text, and there's so many cool fonts on this app like i absolutely adore this app like the fonts mwah, so good that's why i was saying i use this to make flyers sometimes too because on pixar they don't have like the apps that i or the fonts that i really like so yeah there's so many cool app um, fonts but it's nice and user friendly because right where you added that sound where you hit text it goes to that same spot so if you want to if you want to add text where you added that sound it's just so user friendly i love it there's labels, really cute ones. I don't really get too much into these, but so many cute labels, super user-friendly because you can search, note, tag, bubble, like so great. Um, you can do a caption. So that's something that like kind of sits at the bottom. So many cute ones. Um, there's a picture in picture feature, which I do in a lot of my videos. 
So it's kind of like what I did it on Instagram. You can do that too with a video where you copy and paste. Like you have the video playing and then you copy a photo in. But if it's something more complex, I'm going to use this app because it gets too tricky on Instagram because you click one thing and then it like moves all over the place. So you can add an image. So for example, let's add this cup of coffee. Um, sometimes it takes a minute. See what I mean? You can add that image in. We love that. Um, you can add a GIF in. Oh, here's my favorite guy. So I was saying you can add, let me get my screen record back up. You can add GIFs and then this is what I paid for. I know that this is one of the features that came with what I paid for. You can add a video into a video, which is really nice, which is what I'm doing here. Um, so let's just add this because I did it. So like literally, when you hit play, it looks chaotic. But look at that, a video. Just and leave a video. it. Like I love that feature. And then you like you can add filters, which I don't usually get into, but I guess if you need to. But yes, I adore this app. Let me stop screen recording. You can do so much. I highly recommend it. 10 out of 10. Play around with it and yeah, you can use it for literally everything. I use it for everything. I'm trying to think. Like that's pretty much it like i said it's like i do extra things for like stories so it makes it look like i do a lot which it is kind of a lot just for like a story like usually people are just like oh record and then you know like that's their story but i like put extra effort into it so i feel like once you get that like you get your like little lighting situation or your filter and then you add the cute fonts or and then you add like an, a photo in a video or whatever and then like that Villo app v-l-l-o so good it like elevates all your stories i use that for a lot like if i like i'm about to sit down right now and like record a video of me i'll just like go in and like edit it on that app and like do like the text so it'll be like doop like a little noise like doop like a pop-up noise and the text will pop up or a picture will pop up like it's literally that app um but yeah that's pretty much all that i do i don't think i'm forgetting anything um if you have any personal questions about what i do please feel free to dm me or comment because like um i'll tell you like i said at the beginning of this video i'll put anyone on there's enough room for all of us to be great okay um but yes i'm this is a lot of me chatting so i'm gonna end it out here thank you guys so so much for watching um please share please subscribe because i know that this is a very impressive video and why not put people on and help people out so we can all have pop in instagrams you know what i'm saying and yes thank you so so much for watching uh let me know if you have any recommendations of what you want to see and i'll see you in my next video